Hello, Burgundy fans, this is Double 77 Trigger here, and I'm going to be showing you Drift's strategy breakdown for attacking Kai. Now, I've already gone through the um, strategy breakdown with uh, attacking Leoness, and um, it's not too difficult. Uh, you just basically go into Hadrian, um, hold down a few guys on, as an Aston Aston, and uh, you go up that way. But here I'm going to be showing you how to attack Kai. Um, Basically, you want to start off from Zanas, move over to Hervery, uh, try to hold down Zanas and Aston while you're doing this with two other teams. But um, you're going to need to take two teams to one team um, through Hervery into Baynock. And uh, once you take over Baynock, then you're probably going to want to, to have a few more guys. So you'll probably have some spare guys at this time if you've been questing for extra knights. So you have some extra guys to hold the defense. So you can hold the defense and just keep your attacking team attacking. So attack from Baynock to Sequest or down to Linnaeus. If you have air and water creatures, attack to Sequest. That's what I did. Um, so you attack Sequest and you hold Sequest and Baynock at the same time while you attack Linnaeus. Um, and Linnaeus is actually easier to attack from the north than it is from the east. So it's best if you attack from the north, from Sequest down to Linnaeus. And... Um, this would be the easier way for you to go about doing this. Um, both of them, from Bainock to Sequest or Bainock to Linnaeus, are still difficult because you have to cross water, and um, that can give the enemy a very high advantage against you. But um, either way you do this, I think Sequest is the easiest, and then uh, moving your attacking team down to Linnaeus, and then pushing your defense team up to Sequest. Well, at that point, well, you can pretty much have either team, of your strongest guys, go and attack Kyle, or Kale, and um, then after that, you just want to leave your defensive army, a water-air army, on sequest. And then you can move your attacking team back all the way to Hervery and um, uh, start taking over the middle ground. Okay, well now that you're uh, moving over to the middle ground, you should already have sequest and Humber locked off against uh, Prince Lance and Vinard. So you want to start moving up through the middle territory because this is the best time to do it. You can take your attacking team that you took all the way down there to destroy Kai, uh, move him back to Hervery, and then while you're at Hervery, he's an ass and ass, and you can have any one of those teams attack Salisbury and uh, take that over. Maybe one of your defensive teams just to level them up a little bit just so they can uh, get a little stronger. Um, uh, basically, your main attacking team, you don't have to level them up so much with this type of stuff. You can have them go and kill off countries. Um, just taking some position in the Empire, you probably would want to just take your uh, defensive crews and uh, you know get them leveled up a little bit so they can uh, tank a little bit better. Um, so at this point, what I would probably try is taking the team from Zanas to attack Salisbury and taking it over with that team. Then you can, um, you've locked off your um, southern positions um, for the most part, and uh, you can um, take your assault team of Drist um, and put him either to Sequest to attack up to New Mechia, or you can take him to Humber to attack Vinard um, on Cynodon or Jukes. But um, here now you'll see that uh, basically once you're at Salisbury and Aston, you're going to take your Aston crew probably your Aston crew, it's up to Carnaboon. Take out the Carnaboon and you've locked off, you know, a, a lot more territory uh, for yourself. And uh, you've gained better position. And you still only need to hold two castles to hold that southern middle ground. So, now that you've destroyed that, you have these two castles, Carnaboon and Salisbury. Now, what the best thing to do right here is at simultaneous time, when you have the best chance to, take your team of Carnaboon and attack to Toria, and also take your team of Salisbury to attack to Ultrute. And once you've done that dual attack, you'll still have two castles that you're holding in the south, and you've locked off a lot of territory. But you can't really go any further with Toria at the moment, so it's best to also, what you can do with Ultrute is go and attack Yorsa, and that's the furthest you can go with just taking over middle ground. Um, you know, without go directly going for the Empire. Um, and then basically, those four castles that you see there, the Humber, Tora, Eorsa, and Sequest, the best places to lock off, because um, 
pretty much have a very, very good defensive um, holds. Um, Tora, maybe not so much, but um, strategically, it's a very good defensive hold. Uh, you might get attacked there a lot, so I'd put a good uh, defensive team there. Um, I don't know. A magic team is up to you because, you know, Zemeckis will be coming at you and he can uh, crush magic teams, so maybe something a little mixed there. Uh, so here are some of my other teams that I've assembled. Here's um, Noise there. I put her onto another magic team because she got up to a Mystic and uh, she's good enough now to go with a different crew. Here's my assaulting team. Um, the few other guys uh, that aren't Berserkers have heal rings on. I'm just trying that out. Now. Maybe they'll all heal up while they're fighting a little bit. Uh, here's my best uh, magic team right now. Uh, my dragon defense team, that I call it. And uh, right up here is my uh, femme fatale team. This is uh, all uh, assorted females with assorted uh, monsters too. So this is actually a very, very good squad. I can form up and destroy Kador or anything that's extremely strong. Um, yeah, here I'm trying to level up that uh, that um, Titan into Thor, so we'll see if that happens or not. Uh, but this is my main team. I'm taking Shootlius with uh, Teeth and Drist as my main assault team. So, yeah, this is the um, the map that I've got so far. I did take over Synodon because I felt, you know... Uh, Vinard was taking over too much territory and he could have possibly killed off the Emperor or Omekia because they were both extremely weak and um, once Vinard gets rolling he can uh, just pretty much just dominate. Um, Omekia can too but uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of a flip of a coin sometimes. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's a really good strategy to do. Um, for taking over Kai. The next thing you could possibly do is go for the Prince. He's the easier target, actually. Because you also have a castle on Adiorsa at this point that you could possibly help taking out the Prince of, uh, you know, New Omekia. But what I'm going to show you next is going after Vina. That's a little harder for this because I'm going to have to actually stop, pull back, and uh, attack. And So yeah, that's going to be a little more difficult. So yeah, that wraps it up for this uh, Drift Strategy Breakdown. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, this is Double 77 Trigger here, and I will catch you later. Thanks for watching.